Hi guys, welcome back to my channel once again. This is Battle with Ola and my name is Mujela Olua. Today we want to talk about another aspect of uh, evidence given in court and uh, that uh, documents, tendering of documents. I know we've talked about how to tender documents, but today we want to talk about the types of documents and how to tender some certain types of document. So uh, I mean, uh, by that I mean what is uh, the acceptable form to be tendered. So we're going to be talking about public and private documents. Generally, we can say that public documents are documents that are public. That is, documents that are not private. But that would be too basic. So let's go to the Evidence Act. Uh, if you look at Section 10, if you look at if you look at Section 102 of the Evidence Act 2011, that's the Nigerian Evidence Act. You know, it talks about what public documents are, and uh, uh, to be smart and uh, straightforward, I'll just say that the underlisted uh, classes or classifications of documents under that section are public documents. So if you want to tender a document in the Nigerian court, the first thing you need to consider is, is it a public document or a private document? Because there are modes of tendering each type of document. Now let's, let me read uh, section 102 to you so that you can understand. The following documents are public documents. That's section 102, subsection A. Documents forming the official acts or records of the official acts of 1. The sovereign authority. 2. Official bodies and tribunals. 3. Public officers, legislative, judicial, and executive, whether of Nigeria or elsewhere. So those are documents. So you can imagine the types of documents that emanate from those offices and those officers. So those documents are public documents. For instance, if you look at the judiciary, a judgment of a court is a public document. So that's a public document from the judiciary. If you look at the legislative or the legislature, for instance, you know, acts of the National Assembly, you know, laws that are, you know, made by the National Assembly, they are public documents. Then if we look at the executive, you can have gazettes, you know, issued by the government, federal government, state government, they are public documents. So those are examples of documents that emanate from those places. And then you look at the other provisions as well. You know, sovereign authorities, official bodies or tribunals. So if, for instance, uh, a tribunal is constituted and uh, they reach uh, a decision and make issue a report, the report of that tribunal is a public document. So when you want to send the documents in the Nigerian court, you first consider is this document a public document or a private document? That's when you know how to tender it. And uh, subsection B says that public records kept in Nigeria of a private document. So if a document emanates from another country as a private document, but when it comes to Nigeria, it is kept as a public document. Such a document is also a public document for the purpose of tendering it in the Nigerian court. So those are public documents, and that's how to know if your document is public. Now, what's a private document? Section 103 is straightforward and says that all documents other than public documents are private documents. So straightforward. So when you have a document in your hand now, you look at it. Was it issued by the sovereign authority? Is it a publicly kept record or of a private document in another country? Is it emanating from a tribunal? the legislative, the judiciary, the executive, is it emanating or originating from an official body? If not, then you know that this is a private document. And uh, now we'll talk about how to tender public documents in the next video. So I will see you in that video. Toodles.